Hi everybody, you can skip to your uh, sign timestamps, should be in the description box down below. But uh, this reading right here is um, something quick. Um, I do beware readings once a month. I've been doing those readings for about a couple of years and uh, those readings usually consist of three spreads. And the third spread is uh, the next good thing that'll happen to you and that'll at least put a smile on your face. So I was just sitting there um, and I thought that why don't I just do that type of spreads for everybody separately from the Be Rare readings. And uh, you know this is going to be coming out on Monday. So that would be a good time for you guys to lift you up, to cheer you up on that Monday morning or whenever you're watching. Because, uh, you know, Mondays are Mondays. Mondays are usually tough for most of us. So hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know if you like this new uh, format if I should continue it because this is the first time I'm doing it. Alright, have a great day. Hi Aries, so here is your next good thing that will at least put a smile on your face. We have uh, the Seven of Wands clarified by the Six of Wands, we have the Sun, um, we have the Queen of Swords and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And uh, yeah, you will be dealing with this Queen of Swords right next to the deck. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. This person could be a relative um, or it could be somebody you work with, your friend, whatever. Right? Perhaps if this is your friend then you have a project together, you're doing something together. Um, and uh, the next good thing is you're going to prove this person wrong. <laughs> you're going to win at something. You versus this Queen of Swords, you're the winner. Alright, so the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of work, business and finances or this is a card of working on something on, or working something out. Right, the Seven of Wands, the first card that came out, this is a card of an um, active defense. So you're going to be defending your point of view, you're going to be defending your vision. If this is somebody you work with um, and perhaps they've got something against you, you will be able to prove them wrong, you'll be able to push your agenda through, right? And uh, the Six of Swords, clarifying that Seven of Wands, is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of recognition. If both of you are up for a promotion, they'll pick you. The Sun in the middle is the happiest card in the deck. Don't take this spread for granted, Aries. Do not. If uh, Don't just sit back and relax. You will still have to defend your position, defend your point of view, do all the homework, do whatever is necessary with that 701s. And if you do all of that, then the victory is yours. But it does look very promising. You versus the Queen of Swords, you win. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Hi Taurus, so your next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, is a very passionate but at the same time very loving new beginning and uh, you're going to surprise yourself Taurus, right? Um, so we got the uh, three of ones clarified by the nine of ones, we have the five of ones, we have the full clarified by the ace of ones and uh, the queen of pentacles and we also have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, kind of looks like you'll be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius or somebody who's got a lot of fire in their chart, right? Because we've got plenty of ones on the table. I count four ones cards, right? And, and uh, one of the ones cards is the Knight of Wands, the first card that we see on the left, clarifying that three of ones. The five of ones, the next card over. Let's talk about that card first. That card, I believe in this case, is either a card of competition for your full and undivided attention. It could be a competition between two different people, but it could be just this person trying to um, get you on board with uh, their agenda, so to speak. The five of ones could also be their own internal struggle before they uh, decide to come towards you before they choose their strategy. And uh, it kind of looks like they'll just be themselves, you know. Perhaps they know that you're an earth sign and perhaps they also watch tarot or they know that, yeah, you know, earth signs are more down to earth, earth signs like to plan things ahead. I'm not saying that you're boring or stale. No, I've seen some Taurus people who are very fiery and passionate and, uh, you know, that type of... Uh, personality. <laughs> but uh, this person is kind of there in the process of um, 
come towards you. And uh, the three of ones that the knight of ones is clarifying is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision to pursue you. And uh, here they come with the uh, fool clarified by the ace of ones and the queen of pentacles. The fool, um, this is them um, just, you know, saying to themselves, it's either now or never. Let's, I'm just gonna tell Taurus straight up how I feel and, uh, you know, that's it. And then we'll see what Taurus says. And I think you're going to be on board. <laughs> the Fool is clarified by the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is also a fire sign indicator. But it's uh, also your card right there, the Queen of Pentacles. So I think you're going to be um, actually glad that this person is showing up. And uh, it's kind of, it kind of feels like this person... What you like about this person is they've got balls. <laughs> <laughs> figuratively speaking obviously right so yeah they're gonna be coming in hot and heavy but just so just so you know right they went through a thought process it was a bit of a struggle for them unless you're dealing with two different people if you're dealing with um, one person then this person went through some sort of a struggle they uh, only on the outside they look like they're a bit cocky, a bit arrogant, you know, they're like uh, very sure of themselves. No, this person went through, uh, they had to go through some thought process before they made their move. But nevertheless, here they come. They're all fiery, they're all passionate about you, right? And uh, I, I do see the two of you hitting it off. The two of cups on the bottom of the deck all the way here. Right? This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of uh, two people coming together, two people in love with each other. Um, this is uh, a card of, uh, you know, two pe both people having mutual feelings towards each other. So yeah, it's, it's about to get hot and heavy. <laughs> Very passionate, Taurus. Alright? Cool. Hi Gemini, um, so the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, is um, a date or somebody will invite you to um, some sort of an event and it kind of feels like it could be somebody um, from your family. So somebody here is playing a matchmaker, somebody is trying to set you up with another person, right? And uh, it may work out. Uh, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ten of Cups. We have uh, the Fool, clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. And we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or I guess a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, or pretty much any Zodiac Sign. We got uh, mostly Cups and Wands here. So yeah, a Water Sign, uh, a Fire Sign. But here's what we start with, right? We got the... Uh, page of cups but what's uh, a little bit weird about the spread is uh, the very next card that came out is the ten of cups the ten of cups is an amazing card to have it's a family card and uh, the page of cups could be an invitation so it could be like a, a family event you know and somebody will bring somebody over to introduce that person to you Right, that's what it kind of feels like. Um, it, you know, it doesn't have to be your family. Perhaps uh, uh, your neighbors, you've been friends with them for a while and they have a family event and they invite you over. You know, just they'll just tell you, come join us. We got this family reunion or whatever. Or, you know, it could be a friend of yours who is having a birthday and they will invite you. Um, something along those lines. You see, with the uh, Page of Cups, this is you being invited, and that's a date, right? The Page of Cups is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. It's a major arcana card. The Wheel of Short Fortune could um, you actually go into that event, or the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle, a very serious new cycle between you and that uh, other new person. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, other court cards. I did pull a couple of clarifiers and we got what we got. But it, this looks very, very good, you know, because then we have the full card clarified by the 801s and the 601s. The full is taking a leap of faith. So I think whoever is playing this matchmaker, they're doing a really good job because that person knows you and them very well. And they thought that, yeah, you would make a perfect couple. And I think that person is right. Because with the full card, you're like, yes. Let's do it. Let's just jump head first. The full is card of a brand new beginning. The full is card is a card of taking a leap of faith, right? And it's clarified by the eight of ones. The eight of ones is one of the fastest cards in the deck. This is a card of Cupid's arrows. 
Right? So the Cupid is going to strike both of you. Perhaps the Cupid is playing the matchmaker. <laughs> right? The, the Eight of Wands is also a card of trouble. So perhaps the two of you will um, escape from that event and uh, you'll just, you know, hit it off immediately. But uh, you could travel for a weekend getaway or something like that. But the Eight of Wands is, like I said, the Cupid's Ares card. It's also a card of communication. Right? The Six of Wands clarifying the Eight of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of feeling great. And back of the day, by the way, the 601s used to be called the proposal card, you know? So don't be surprised. So, yeah, this looks very promising. The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a wish come true. And it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So, yeah, this looks very promising. All right, Gemini? Cool. Hi, Cancer. The next good thing that'll happen to you, that'll at least put a smile on your face, is you are not going to allow yourself to get into a third party situation. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit odd, but that's what it is. This is the next good thing spread, right? Um, so perhaps uh, this is a warning for you. It kind of reminds me of a Beware reading, to be honest with you. So anyway, we got the Three of Cups, the first card that came out. Then we got the uh, Four of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. So be on the lookout. Beware of the next person coming towards you. This person could already be involved with another uh, person. They could be either married or in a relationship or something like that. Right, the Three of Cups, the first card I came out, it's probably a third party situation card. There is no other way to interpret this. If you're going to an event or a gathering or party or a concert at some point in the future, just be careful as whom uh, you are meeting, right? Whom you are getting acquainted with. The Three of Cups could be a, a card of an event, but together with all the other cards, it kind of looks like it's a third party situation. The Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, You've guessed it. It's a third party situation card. It's also a card of a broken heart. It's a card of devastation. You know, so if you do give this person a chance, they will break your heart. The Four of Cups, right next to the Three of Cups, is, I believe, what you should do. Uh, the Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, so you're not having anything to do with them. The Knight of Swords clarifying the Four of Cups. It could be an Air Sun, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Cancer, it could be your energy. And uh, in this case, you're going to be a, a, a bit upset with this person, and you're basically going to be infuriated to be completely honest with you, because out of all four knights, the Knight of Swords is the knight that tends to get into a fight, right? If you take a closer look at the Knight of Swords, this person is charging ahead, they've got their sword out, they're ready to strike, and they look pissed off. So I think, yeah, you are not going to be happy with this person, and you'll have a few things to say that they're not going to appreciate. Right, the Four of Pentacles right next to the deck. This is you remaining closed off, not opening up, not having to do anything with this person. So yeah, the next, you're going to dodge a bullet pretty much, Cancer. That's what this reading is about, you dodging a bullet. All right? Cool. Hi, Leo. Um, so here's the next thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. And uh, I can think of a couple of things here. And it may sound cheesy, one of the scenarios. One of the scenarios is you will be sleeping one night, one night you will have a dream, and that dream will eventually come true. And scenario number two, you'll be going on a dream vacation. All right, so yeah. <laughs> we have the Four of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the star, clarified by the nine of cups, and we also have the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or perhaps another fire sign like yourself, um, Aries, another Leo, or Sagittarius. So yeah, I know it sounds kind of mystical, cheesy, when I said about uh, you falling asleep and um, you know having a dream, but that's what I see here with the four of swords and uh, the seven of cups, the first two cards on the left. You know, with the four of swords, somebody is sleeping, Right? And uh, the Seven of Cups, this card always looks a little bit dreamy to me, right? So you're dreaming of something while you're sleeping, and uh, eventually that will come true, because then we have the Star clarified by the Nine of Cups, and both of those cards are wish come true cards, dream granted cards, right? <laughs> There's two wish come true wish granted cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table and one is clarifying the other that means something right leo 
Uh, the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck, that is most likely you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, unless they're dealing with another fire sign. Um, for another group of you, <clears throat> perhaps uh, you'll be going on a dream vacation or something like that. You know, the four of swords, this is you taking a break, and by that I mean it could be you going on vacation. It could be a weekend getaway, or it could be a week or a couple of weeks. You could be going by yourself, with your family, with a group of friends, with your loved one whatever. The Seven of Cups, the next card over, this is you deciding as to where you want to go, you know, because the Seven of Cups is also a card of a multiple choice, it's a card of uh, not being 100% sure right away what you want to do, and in this case, which uh, vacation destination you want to uh, <clears throat> go to, and then eventually you'll figure it out. Perhaps a friend of yours will recommend it, or you'll see the super deal online, vacation deal, and you'll be like, yes, I always wanted to go there. I always wanted to stay at that hotel. You know, something like that, because the star with the uh, Nine of Cups are still wish-granted cards. The star, by the way, is the personal Aquarius card. You can be dealing with an Aquarius. So, yeah. Um, either way, Leo, I really like it. I really do. Leave me a comment. Let me know <laughs> what your dream uh, is coming true. Which one of your dreams is coming true. All right? Cool. Hi, Virgo. So here's the next thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. You are either buying a car or perhaps you're going on a weekend getaway with somebody and it's going to be hot hot and spicy <laughs> right uh, we got the uh, the magician we have the devil we have the chariot clarified by the nine of cups and we also have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a capricorn or a cancer or um, a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius the, the king of wands on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right i believe that's the person you're dealing with it could be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius or somebody who is going to be embracing the energy of this king of wands Somebody who is very fiery, somebody who is very passionate, this person is going to take on the initiative, this person could be a leader in real life, right? And uh, we got quite a few major arcana cards. The first three cards that came out were all major arcana cards. You know, the, the devil is the personal Capricorn card, by the way, and uh, the chariot is the personal cancer card. But to get all of that, you could be getting a car, you always want it, because the chariot is the, could be a vehicle, you know, um, it could be a, a minivan <laughs> or, or a convertible or a sedan, I don't, I don't know. Um, then the, the devil is uh, a card of you really, really wanting it. You're kind of like a little bit obsessed over it. And the, the, chair, uh, the magician, the first guy that came out, this is you manifesting it. And uh, the chair is qualified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, so you're getting it. And uh, the skin you want is somehow involved in this whole situation. You know, it could be somebody buying it for you, or this person could be working for a dealership. It could be, you know, your significant other, or your relative, anybody. But this King of Wands is somehow involved in this purchase. Um, in scenario number two, you and this King of Wands, you're going to go on a very interesting trip together. Right? Uh, the chariot in this, game, in this case becomes the two of you going someplace, and... Uh, the chariot is classified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction. Wink, wink, Virgo. Right? The devil <laughs> in the middle. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but the devil is all about desire, temptation, lust. Right? And uh, the magician, the first card that came out, this is... Uh, uh, the energy of taking action, you know. <laughs> the Magician is a card mani of manifestation, but it's also a card of taking action. So, yeah, either one of those two scenarios, but uh, to be honest with you, I personally like either one of those two scenarios. <laughs> All right? Cool. Hi, Libra. The next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, is a reconciliation with this King of Cups. Right, so we got the uh, Three of Swords, clarified by Temperance. We have uh, Judgment, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. So yeah, the King of Cups right there in the middle, clarifying Judgment, is the person you'll be getting back together with. It could be a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or it's somebody who is mature, in control of their emotions, but at the same time still very low. Loving, this person could actually have a problem expressing their love. 
And uh, yeah, you're getting back together with them. The Three of Swords, the first card I came out, this is a card of a broken heart, it's a card of a devastation, it's a card of a breakup, but it's clarified by Temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card, by the way, but if we want to stay general, then Temperance is all about healing, burying the hatchet, getting back together, reconciling, rekindling. Judgment that the uh, King of Cups is clarifying is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And the last card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, it's right next to that Two of Cups. And Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. Very solid, very grounded, very long-term type of a deal with that Ten of Pentacles. This is when people buy real estate together. This is when they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. Right? And uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it's a card of a soulmate connection. So this person is definitely your soulmate. You know, it's also a card of unconditional love. It's a card of uh, two people being on the same page. So I, hopefully the two of you can work things out, compromise, and uh, learn your lesson, and, uh, you know, get married. Because the Ten of Pentacles, it, it is, in 90% of the time, is a marriage card. Very solid, you know, financially stable, secure abundant <laughs> type of a deal. So yeah, this is it. A reconciliation with the King of Cups. Hi Scorpio, the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, is uh, somebody is going to come back to you and uh, offer you um, a commitment. And um, this person probably ran away from you. It kind of feels like this person got scared or they got cold feet or something like that. Or perhaps they chose another person over you and it kind of looks like it just never took off the ground that's what it feels like right so we got the uh, seven of swords clarified by the five of cups we have the star clarified by the four of ones we have death and we also have the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra or aquarius so yeah the first card i came out is the seven of swords and it's clarified by the five of cups the seven of swords I'm, I'm never sugarcoat my readings. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater. It's, but at the same time, this is also a card of somebody who runs away. And that's what it feels like, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like somebody cheated on you. For some of you, perhaps they did. But it feels more like they either got scared or they chose somebody else. If uh, you went on a date or a couple of dates with this person, then this, this person ghosted you or they told you straight up that it wasn't going to work out between the two of you. And the truth is, they either got scared, or like I said, they chose somebody else with that Seven of Swords. And now they deeply, deeply regret it, because that's what the Five of Cups clarifying that Seven of Swords is all about. This is a card of regret and grief. Right? We have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way here, right? You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or the Knight of Swords. This is them rushing back in before it's way too late, before you've completely moved on. Um, this is them just, um, you know, wanting you back or wanting to uh, have another chance with you. We have the star right next to the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Four of Wands. The star is the personal Aquarius card, by the way, so this Knight of Swords could be an Aquarius. Or the star is a card of healing, and it's also a card of a wish come true. The Four of Wands, clarifying the star, is a card of a commitment or marriage. Some people call the Four of Wands the Eleven Eleven card. Right, then the, the last card that came out is Death. Death, that is your personal card, Scorpio, unless you're dealing with another Scorpio, but most likely it is you. And it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. That means you are the one in charge, you are the one calling the shots. Right, so it's going to be 100% up to you what you want to do here, uh, Scorpio, with this uh, person rushing back in um, and uh, offering you a commitment. But uh, when they do come back, they will... If they start talking commitment, they're telling the truth. That's what we have here on the table. We do have a commitment. All right? Cool. Hi, Sagittarius. So the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile of your, on your face, is you'll be receiving um, some kind of an offer from uh, this Queen of Cups. Um, it could be an offer of love, it could be an offer of uh, money, or it could be a job offer or an investment opportunity offer. So yeah, we got the uh, Queen of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Page 
of cups clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces or an earth sign towards Virgo, Capricorn. I would just have to assume you are the Queen of Wands in this spread, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter and you're dealing with the Queen of Cups, the next card that came out. Probably a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. This Queen of Cups could offer you love, could offer you your job, money, something uh, serious, right? And uh, it will probably play out like this. Uh, they are going to invite you to um, lunch, dinner, grab a cup of coffee, or grab a cold one after work, right? And that's when this conversation starts. The Page of Cups, the next card that came out after the Queen of Cups is that invitation that I was just talking about. And that the Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the Page of Cups, is the offer that they're going to offer you. I apologize for the tautology. <laughs> offer you an offer. Anyway, the Knight of Pentacles is a very serious knight. You know, it's a very grounded, stable knight. If this is a job offer, then it'll pay very well. You know, uh, the Knight of Pentacles could be an investment opportunity or business adventure offer. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how if you're going to accept it or not, but uh, it'll definitely put a smile <laughs> on your face. Right? The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to you, right? This is a card of a wish come true and it's also a card of personal satisfaction, right? So there you are with the Nine of Cups sitting there and smiling, right? Because it's something good, something you like. So you can always let, let me know how this plays out for you because like I said, the Knight of Pentacles could be anything. But it, whatever it is, it's serious. It's the real deal, right? All right, cool. Hi Capricorn. Um, the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face is somebody is going to apologize to you for something they caused, for a fight, for and uh, they basically want to make it up to you, right? And uh, they want to make it up to you in a very significant, even magnificent way. That's the way I'm feeling about this. Um, so we got the uh, nine of wands clarified by the five of swords. We have the magician. We have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So if you just recently got into a fight or if you will be getting into a fight, uh, this person will want to apologize and make it up to you. This person could be your loved one, you could be your relative, a friend, somebody you work with. Um, anybody, right? The Nine of Wands, the first card I came out is a card of a wounded warrior. This is you, you know, putting up a wall between yourself and this person uh, because they hurt you, right? Uh, the Five of Swords, clarifying the Nine of Wands, is a card of a breakup. It's a card of uh, severing ties. It's a card of a fight, right? And that's why you're feeling the way you're feeling in, in the Nine of Wands. Like, uh, you know, you're upset. Uh, you're, um, you, you don't trust this person anymore. So for them to restore your trust, they will have to uh, do something big, something significant. And that's what I think they're about to do. That's what they're preparing to do or will be getting ready to do. The Magician, the next card over this is a card of manifestation, but this is also a card of taking action. The Magician's got all the tools he or she needs at their disposal and they're using those tools. And that's why I'm picking up they're they're gonna come up with something big because they I know they know they messed up the five of swords is a card of an ugly fight right so they know they've got their work cut out for them so here they come with the knight of cups and the the six of ones on the bottom of the deck both cards I think are, are their, their cards the six of ones is a card of victory but at the same time this is a card of um, you know somebody who comes back in and they or they want to share their success with you. They want to, you know, they want to win you back. Um, and uh, the Knight of Cups, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is a very loving or emotional something they want to do for you. It doesn't have to be just verbal. They may actually do something special, do something nice, and even give you something. But it's going to be all because they have all these good, loving, warm, cuddly feelings for you. Right? The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, then the Queen of Pentacles, that's you. So you're on the receiving end of that Knight of Cups energy. All right, so yeah, that's that's what I got for you here. Hi Aquarius, the next good thing that'll happen to you that'll at least put a smile on your face is this King of Swords offering you something major, something big, and it could be a commitment. 
Right, so we've got the uh, Five of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And we also have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, Gemini, uh, Libra, or not Aquarius. You're going to be dealing with uh, Cancer. The King of Swords. I know it's an air sign indicator. You are an air sign. But it feels like this is somebody coming towards you because that's what the spread is about. Something that's going to put a huge smile on your face. So I usually... I interpret my spreads from the uh, zodiac signs perspective. Anyway, <laughs> the King of Swords is the person coming towards you. Most likely you already know this person, but the thing is, uh, perhaps they missed an opportunity with you, or uh, the two of you have been friends and uh, never took it anywhere. And uh, the way this person is feeling right now is uh, interpreted by the Five of Pentacles that the uh, King of Swords is clarifying. The Five of Pentacles, this is a card of somebody feeling lonely, feeling miserable, feeling left out in the cold. But again, it feels new from the love perspective, right? Um, so here they come with the uh, Chariot and uh, the Ace of Pentacles. And, uh, but first we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Perhaps this person... If you're still, if you're friends with this person on social media, they've been keeping tabs on you. They've been scroll, scrolling through your profile and looking at those pictures, right? That's what uh, the Page of Swords, I believe, is all about. All right, so here they come with the Chariot card. Uh, the Chariot is uh, the personal cancer card. You could be dealing with a cancer, but the Chariot, it could be them literally coming over. The Chariot is a card of, um, you know, going someplace. It's a card of transportation. And um, yeah, so here they come. This is also a card of victory. It's a card of success. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck. And what they're offering you is the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. They're offering you a commitment. Yeah, they're going to go big right away. They're going, it's, it almost feels like go big or go home. You know, that type of deal. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, most likely, if it's not a proposal, even though it does come through as a proposal very often, it's a very serious offer. This person means business. The Ace of Pentacles is often called the um, golden opportunity. This Ace always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a family. Speaking of the family, that's what the Ten of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is all about. It's a family card, a commitment card. It's a very solid, very grounded, very long-term, very financially stable type of a deal with that Ten of Pentacles. You know, so yeah. This is the next thing that'll happen to you. That'll definitely put a smile on your face. This King of Swords is gonna break their silence. They're gonna tell you how exactly how they feel and what they want. And what they do want is a commitment with you, Aquarius. All right? Cool. Hi, Pisces. The next good thing that'll happen to you, that'll at least put a smile on your face, is um, actually it has to do with money, work, business, and finances. So let's talk about this. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Moon. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. And we got the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, so yeah, the, the Five of Swords, the third card from the left. Uh, this is what you will be uh, deciding about. The Five of Swords, in this case, this is you deciding to quit your job, right? Um, to, or to leave something in regards to your existing job. Perhaps you're thinking about switching departments, or perhaps you're thinking of something else. But uh, it's going to be um, not an easy decision for you, especially if this is a new job offer that's going to be on the table for you. Perhaps your existing employer um, is not, well, well they're not going to be happy about it. I'm just going to be honest with you. They're not going to be happy about it. Perhaps they are counting on you to finish a project, or perhaps they invested into you, perhaps they paid for your education. Um, something like that. So, um, yeah, the first card I came out is the Two of Pentacles. This is a card of uh, you figuring it out. Uh, this is a card of uh, you weighing all pros and cons, deciding what you want to do here. Uh, the Moon clarifying the Two of Pentacles, that's your card, Pisces. That's you, you know. Then we have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, right next to the Five of Swords. And the both cards have to do with work, business, and finances. Both of them are work, business, and finances cards. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, a work team environment, business place environment, and the Eight of Pentacles is a card of uh, working on something, right? And uh, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, 
This is actually one of the best cards you can potentially get if we talk about work, business and finances. This is a card of somebody who is um, financially stable, somebody who's got money in the bank. This is a card of recognition, this is a card of admiration. So perhaps if you do receive a new job offer, you know that new company will pay you very well, they will compensate you accordingly and uh, they may even throw in like an, a sign-up bonus or they will pay you way more than your current company or there will be better benefits, something along those lines. So it's going to be very tempting, very attractive. But again, um, your existing company is not going to like the news when you break them, when you break the news to them. And I do see you like seriously considering making this move. All right. But uh, remember that this spread is about the next good thing that will happen to you. All right. So, yeah, we all switch jobs, right? Every few years. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. All right. Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.